savvy. It's your girl Kiki, and I have a wicked trip planned for today. Yeah, baby. We're diving headfirst into the Canary Islands, a Spanish archipelago chillin' off the coast of Africa. Picture sun-soaked beaches, volcanic vibes, and a culture that's a spicy blend of Spanish flair and guancha coolness. Forget what you think you know about Spain. These islands are a whole different beast. They're a world of their own, with a vibe that's laid back and exotic. We're talking year-round sunshine, jaw-dropping volcanic scenery, and a culture that's as warm as the weather. From their ancient volcanic birth to their spicy Spanish conquest, these islands have stories for days. So hold my beer, babes. We're about to embark on a whirlwind tour of the Canary Islands. Let's talk culture, shall we? The Canary Islands are a melting pot of Spanish and indigenous guanche traditions, creating a vibe that's both familiar and exotic. It's like Spain, but with a tropical twist. The guanches were the original inhabitants of these islands, and their legacy lives on in the music, dance, and festivals. Think of rhythmic drumming, swirling skirts, and a whole lot of foot-stomping fun. Speaking of parties, the Canary Islands know how to celebrate. From the vibrant carnival celebrations to the more traditional romerias, there's always a reason to put on your dancing shoes. And trust me, these fiestas are not for the lamos. We're talking all-night dancing, flowing drinks, and a whole lot of laughter. So whether you're a culture vulture or just looking for a good time, the Canary Islands have got you covered. Life in the Canary Islands is all about embracing the manana mentality. It's a slower pace of life, where people take the time to savor the simple things. Think leisurely lunches, afternoon siestas, and evenings spent chatting with friends and family. But don't let the relaxed vibe fool you. The Canarians are a lively bunch who love to celebrate. From local fiestas to weekly markets, there's always something happening on these islands. Speaking of food, oh my gosh, the Canary Islands are a foodie's paradise. The cuisine is a delicious fusion of Spanish and African influences, with fresh seafood, locally grown produce, and flavorful spices taking center stage. Are you ready for a taste of the urban jungle? You'd better pull up your socks because the Canary Islands might be known for their laid back vibe. But don't be fooled. These islands have a cosmopolitan side too. Las Palmas, the capital of Gran Canaria, is a vibrant metropolis with a historic vibe. Stroll through the cobbled streets of Vegeta, marvel at the architectural wonders of the Cathedral of Santa Ana, or sun your bum on the golden sands of Las Canteras Beach. Over on Tenerife, Santa Cruz is a city that knows how to have a good time. Home to the world-famous carnival celebrations, this city comes alive with music, dance, and elaborate costumes each February. But even when it's not carnival season, Santa Cruz has plenty to offer, from its charming harbor front to its world-class museums and art galleries. And let's not forget about Puerto de la Cruz, a charming town nestled on the north coast of Tenerife. Life in the slow lane, but baby doll, we gotta make it chic. Peep this. You wake up to the sound of the ocean, the sun is already kissing your skin, and the only thing on your agenda is deciding whether to hit the beach or explore a charming village. That's life in the Canary Islands, honey. It's all about slowing down, embracing the present moment, and enjoying the simple things. Think leisurely walks along the coast, afternoons spent sipping coffee in sun-drenched plazas, and evenings filled with delicious food and even better company. The Canary Islands offer a unique blend of relaxation and adventure. You can spend your mornings hiking through volcanic landscapes, your afternoons surfing world-class waves, and your evenings indulging in the local nightlife. It's all about finding your own rhythm and chillin' with the island lifestyle. Let's talk money, honey. The Canary Islands might be a slice of paradise, but you'll need some euros in your pocket to enjoy it to the fullest. Don't worry though, your girls got you covered with the lowdown on currency, costs, and how to make your budget stretch further than a plate of paella on a Sunday afternoon. First things first, ditch the dollars and grab some euros. The Canary Islands are part of Spain, so the official currency is the euro. You'll find ATMs readily available, and most places accept credit cards. Just remember to check those pesky foreign transaction fees before you go on a shopping spree. Good news, budget babes. The Canary Islands are surprisingly affordable, especially compared to other popular European destinations. 
you can find delicious meals for under 10 euros, a glass of local wine for a couple of euros, and accommodation options to suit every budget. Okay, my travel fam, it's time to talk visas. Nobody wants to get stuck in a paperwork purgatory when they could be sipping cocktails on a beach in the Canary Islands. Lucky for you, I'm here to break down the visa situation so you can spend less time stressing and more time soaking up the sun. If you're from the EU, the USA, Canada, or Australia, you're in luck. You can enter the Canary Islands visa-free for up to 90 days within a 180-day period. Just make sure your passport is valid for at least six months beyond your intended stay and you're balling. For those of you from other parts of the world, you'll need to check the specific visa requirements for your nationality. The best place to start is the website of the Spanish Embassy or Consulate in your home country. Thinking of staying longer than 90 days? No worries, I got you. The Canary Islands offer various visa options for longer stays, including student visas, work visas, and residency permits. Calling all retirees and those who dream of endless sunshine. The Canary Islands aren't just for spring breakers and digital nomads. They're also a haven for those seeking a relaxed, affordable, and sun-drenched retirement. Imagine trading in your snow shovel for a beach umbrella and your morning commute for a leisurely stroll along the coast. With their year-round sunshine, stunning natural beauty, and laid-back lifestyle, the Canary Islands offer the perfect setting for your golden years. Plus, with a lower cost of living than many other European countries, you'll be able to stretch your retirement savings further. And let's not forget about the healthcare. Spain has an excellent public healthcare system, and the Canary Islands are no exception. Foodies, get ready to tantalize your taste buds and get as upset about my Spanish as I am. The Canary Islands are a culinary melting pot, blending Spanish, African, and Latin American influences to create a cuisine that's as diverse and vibrant as the islands themselves, and it's got my mouth watering just talking to you about it. Start your culinary adventure with a plate of papas arrugadas, the quintessential Canarian dish. These wrinkled potatoes are boiled in salt water until their skins wrinkle, then served with mojo rojo, a spicy red pepper sauce or mojo verde, a tangy green sauce made with coriander and parsley. Next, dive, pun intended, into the world of fresh seafood. From grilled sardines to octopus stew, the Canary Islands offer an abundance of ocean fresh delicacies. For a taste of the island's Spanish heritage, climb into a plate of paella, a saffron infused rice dish typically made with seafood, chicken, or rabbit. And don't worry, international food lovers, the Canary Islands have something for you too. From Italian pizzerias to Asian fusion restaurants, you'll find a diverse range of international cuisines to satisfy your cravings. Pack your swimsuit and sunscreen, the Canary Islands are practically synonymous with sunshine. Thanks to their subtropical location and the trade winds, these islands enjoy year-round warm weather, making them the perfect escape from those dreary winter blues. Think average temperatures of 20 to 25 degrees Celsius or 68 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit year round with plenty of sunshine and minimal rainfall. But here's where things get interesting. The Canary Islands are also known for their microclimates. Thanks to their volcanic landscapes and varying altitudes, you can experience a range of climates within a relatively small area. For example, you can bake in the sun on the south coast of Tenerife one minute then cruise up to Mount Tide National Park and find yourself up to your knees, surrounded by snow-capped peaks. Hold on to your knickers, my peeps, because the Canary Islands are more than just beaches and sunshine. These islands offer a playground of activities and experiences to satisfy every travel style, from adrenaline junkies to history buffs. Lace up your hiking boots and explore the dramatic volcanic landscapes of Timanfaya National Park in Lanzarote, where you'll feel like you've stepped onto another planet or trek through the lush forests of Garajone National Park in La Gomera, a UNESCO World Heritage Site home to ancient laurel forests and breathtaking views. Surfers, grab your boards and head to the north coast of Fuerteventura, where you'll find some of the wickedest waves in Europe. From beginner-friendly breaks to challenging reefs, there's a wave for every skill level. And for those seeking a more relaxed pace, the Canary Islands offer plenty of opportunities to unwind and soak up the local culture. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. So if you've had fun or learned anything, do me a favor. 
Like, comment, subscribe, share. That stuff really helps out the channel. I really need your help in building our community. I release polls, memes, and fun stuff at 9 a.m. Eastern every day. You can find them on the community tab, a short video at 2.15 p.m. daily, and a longer type video every other day. I'd love to hear from you. Leave me a hello in the comments below. A girl gets lonely, you know. Also, you can check out the super links that I have in the description for savvy travel gear to help keep you safe on your next journey. Or if you prefer, you could simply buy me a coffee with the QR code on the screen or with the link in the description below. I'm so grateful for your love and support of the channel. Remember to be kind, be gentle with yourself, and know that you are appreciated. Peace.